Stories about people. Stories about life. Hometown Stories. A small miracle is happening in a town in the mountains of Shimane Prefecture, Western Japan. <laughs> the town of Omori sits at the foot of the Iwami Ginzan Silver Mine, a UN World Heritage Site. With a population of about 400, the small town still bears traces of Japan as it was centuries ago, when the area flourished from the bounty of its silver mine. After the mine closed in the mid-20th century, the town declined to a point where its survival seemed uncertain. But now... <laughs> Ten years ago, the local nursery school had only two children. But now, there are more than 20. And the number of elementary school students has more than doubled in three years. The population of little children continues to grow in this small town. The town's charms are proving attractive to more young people prompting them to relocate there. Spring has arrived, and another father and daughter have moved to the town. In a small town at the foot of a World Heritage Site, people are raising children and nurturing a community. Here's their story. It's early March. <laughs> Some new residents have arrived in Omori town. <laughs> ono Tetsuro and his daughter, seven-year-old Ichika, have moved west from their former home, which is close to Osaka. They've relocated along with their dog. They'll be living in a renovated house that's over 50 years old. It's nothing like their previous home, a condominium in a big city. そこ。<笑><笑> Tetsuro used to work as a graphic designer in and around Osaka. 
This place will be his home and his office. <laughs> he used to lead a busy life, handling designs for all kinds of advertisements. But around the middle of 2021, he lost his wife to a sudden illness. She was only 37. He wondered how he was going to raise his daughter. At first, Tetsuro tried hard to juggle working and taking care of Ichika. But he was finding it increasingly difficult to raise a child in an urban setting. どこかでその娘をなんか急がせてしまったりとか、うん、しんどい思いをさせてしまってるなっていうのが常々あって楽しくなれるような場所がないかなっていうふうになんかいろいろ考えてた時に前々から仕事とかでつながりがあったその島根
緊張してるね緊張してますね<笑>ね、さっきまでてて<笑>すごい喋ってたのに、ああ、入ったらちょっと緊張してますよね。ますね、うん。Will she get used to the new school? 大丈夫。私は今日の夜ちゃんと教えた。一緒に寝るの。一緒に寝るの。ちゃんと教えてあげて。Naoko has invited Tetsuro to her home. Here's Naoko's husband, Matsuba Tadashi. They have five children. いちかちゃんはとてもあの学校計画の後楽しかったって言ってたんで,ああそうですか<笑>、うん、大丈夫だと思う<笑>校長先生たちの前に行くとやっぱり少し緊張してたんだけどああでも学校ではでも向こうでもあのうん,んそんな感じだと思いますいはいおかいちかちゃんいちかちゃんいただきますみんなに言って<笑>いただきますのゴレ。みんな準備できたらね。お箸ね。パパ言って。そういやいっちゃんだよいっちゃんだ。パパいっちゃん。いっちゃんやな。な。いただきます。ナオコ actually moved back to this town with her family。記名するんですよ。はい。はい。ロシャイ。ダブルで。She gave birth to her first child in Tokyo. After that, she decided to come back here. So she could work and raise children in a more tranquil surroundings. すごいお箸使えるの。すごいじゃん。<笑> Her eldest son Kota will start sixth grade from April. <laughs> He mixes some juice using homemade syrup made from a citrus called. ハサク。ありがとう。苦いところ食べた。あ、美味しいね。うん、いや、苦いところでもみんな美味しいねって。おもてなしのすごいですよね、スキルが。大森君はみんなそんな感じ。だけど、ジュは夜ふくろうか。テツロウとイチカは楽しんでいる。今日の朝の出発。そして、これは。いやでも来てくれて本当に嬉しいですね。こっちに引っ越してきてくれたから、もう今はワクワクがいっぱいですよね。あれ一緒にしよう、これ一緒にしようとか、子供らもすごい楽しみにしてるし。うん。それまで結構やっぱり奥さんの病気のこととかで、もう仕事もあってあんまり周りに言わずにずっとやってきてたんで、結構心細かったんですよね。まあ大人大人ですけど、それでもまあ。心細かった時にそういう声をかけてもらえたのがやっぱりすごい嬉しい<笑>心強かったって感じですかね。美味しい。<笑>えもらったの。うちかちゃんシロップ分けてあげるよ。発作の。ちょっともらって帰ろうか。Omori Town flourished from the early 17th century through the mid 19th century, thanks to the Iwami Ginzan silver mine. In the 17th century, Japanese silver is said to have accounted for a third of global production. Even until the early 20th century, The town continued to attract artisans and merchants from all over Japan. But the mine eventually closed, sapping the town's vigor. People wondered whether the area would be able to survive the hardship. But survive it did, thanks to two companies that were founded in the town.
One is Nakamura Brace, which develops medical equipment such as prosthetic limbs. The company places a high value on the craftsmanship passed on by the many artisans who once lived in the town. Now, it has established itself as an innovative firm with orders coming in from around the world. The other one, Iwami Ginzan Gungendo, specializes in clothing and household goods. The firm produces items that make use of local nature and traditional fabrics. It has 30 stores nationwide, including some in Tokyo and Osaka. This designer landed a job at the company and relocated from Kanagawa Prefecture near Tokyo. This man also moved to the town after getting a job at the company in 2012. He loves the rich natural setting and walks in the mountains almost every day. These two companies, along with the local lifestyle, are attracting younger people to Omori Town. A small miracle is starting to happen. Here is Naoko with her after school children's class. As a volunteer, she takes care of nearly 20 kids every day. The group is off to dig up bamboo shoots, a fun event that happens in spring. The children have really got the hang of it. They dig up one shoot after another. Local residents help organize the children's class. All kinds of people from teenagers to those in their 70s assist with seasonal events. Thank you. <laughs> When children are walking around, people in town always talk to them. Naoko says scenes like this haven't changed since her own childhood. Together, people in the town watch over the children as they grow. Naoko's eldest son, Kota, is now a sixth grader. He's leaving home early in the morning to do some bird watching.
はるさんおはよう。なんかいたそこら辺に。イソヒヨだけだね。<笑>最近イソヒヨのオスよくいるもんね。うんモリヤマハルキ is 68 years old. People call him Harusan. Haruki has been a bird watcher for 45 years. Walking around the hills and fields with him has gotten Kota into observing birds. He spotted more than 100 kinds of birds already. The school of the school, I'm going to go to the school of the school. I'm going to go to the school of the school. I'm going to go to the school of the school. え何言ってんの面白くないじゃんってよく言われるんだよね。可愛くない鳥っていうのは何のこと？わからん。<笑>カラスとかじゃない？カラスも可愛いよ。可愛いよね目が。視点を変えてみてほしいな。よし。Right now, Kota is trying to photograph Asian house martins. They build their nests in spring. They move fast. So it's difficult for him to get good shots. Kota is learning a lot of things. One morning in April. It's been a month since Tetsudo moved to Omori Town. いちかは今日早く起きたからいちゃん、余裕やっちゃった。あ、これな、あ、若いなって。これでいい。オッケー、オッケー The first time Ichika visited the school, she was a little nervous. Maybe now she's getting used to her new environment. Some of Ichika's school friends have come to her home. Ichika-chan, okay? Just let me just. 
It's her eighth birthday. They're also celebrating the birthday of Ichika's late mother. Tetsuro had been worried that his daughter might not feel at home in the town. But he was pleasantly surprised. <笑>町の During the past month, Tetsuro has reduced his workload so he can spend more time with Ichika. He's received some requests to do design work from businesses in town. なんかこの街にこうデザイン事務所がパッてできることで今までやってなかったことを期待してくれる感じがなんかすごい嬉しいなと思ったりしましたね。あの、子供も馴染んで、ま、次はなんかあの、僕が、あの、街でいろんなこと